What a week. What a week for Dave Chappelle. What a week for Netflix. Let's talk about it. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, hit the intro. You know what time it is. It's Dave Chappelle time, baby. Listen, I watched it. I watched the Dave Chappelle controversy. Watch it unfold. So first, I saw it come up on my Netflix, and I was like, oh, shoot, Dave Chappelle. Then I didn't watch it right away, but I read some of the comments on the cancel culture. And I was like, well, now I have to watch it. So I did. I watched it. And it's funny. It's funny in a way that it tells a story and it's real. Like a lot of Chappelle's jokes are just like a big exaggeration. I like how he can make up a children's narrative about a giant black man who gets shot by the cops and is okay and gets called all kinds of racist terms. And that's fine. But he tells a story about how he made a friend in the trans community through comedy and how that friend killed herself and y'all mad i don't think for a second that dave chappelle cares one bit whether or not you are male female used to be male used to be female want to be male want to be female or anything in between or outside the lines i think dave chappelle gives a zero f's about that i think he finds humor in all of it as we all should because no matter where you are from on the spectrum of race or gender you always find humor in something that the other person that you oppose to does so i watched it and i thought that this i actually a little bit choked up thinking about the story that he told because of what i go through in my life right now i'm going through a tough time and for him to tell a story about how he met somebody like the whole thing is kind of crazy when you really think about it if you haven't watched it go watch it but how he ended up meeting this woman and becoming her friend and letting her open for him on stage and bomb really bad and then defend him on twitter and watch twitter just drag her through the mud was that the reason that she killed herself? I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know the real reason that brought her to that. But it, the reason was 100% not Dave Chappelle. And nothing to do with him, anything he said. She was his friend, and he was clearly upset. She's gone. She's decided to check out of this world. So then I read a story here that people on Netflix that work there want to boycott Netflix because they won't get rid of Dave Chappelle. You cannot cancel this man for saying what he said. He's a comedian. You have free speech. Oh, we don't like it. This is the equivalent of Spotify trying to nix Joe Rogan. And also keep in mind Dave Chappelle also has FU money. So if Netflix wants to cancel him, he don't care. If you're at Netflix and you're like, oh, boo-hoo, he said something I didn't like about trans people. Get over it. Don't listen to it. Guess what? People you probably work with probably say things every day, maybe not to your face or on Netflix, but they say it in your building and around you that you don't like. And you can't go around canceling them. So this story comes out, and we just watched it play out through the week, but the Netflix just fired the organizer of the trans employee walkout. And the company suspects they leaked metrics about the Dave Chappelle special to the press. What metrics? I don't know. What does that mean? How much Netflix paid for the closed down many people it reached? Um, why does that matter? You know, it says, while the employee had shared the metrics internally, they spoke out against the leaks to colleagues where they might hurt the walkout. So what are they saying? Oh, well, we leaked it, but now it was really good numbers and they paid a lot of money. And Netflix made a lot of money. You want to walk out from your job because of something somebody said? Go walk out. 
But don't think for a second a company as large as Netflix who backs a man as famous as Dave Chappelle is going to care that you quit. They won't. And when you put up your job resume, you go to the next place you're going to work, and you say, well, I used to work at Netflix. And they go, that's amazing. What did you do there? And they say, well, I leaked some metrics, and I got fired, or I walked out because I didn't like something Dave Chappelle said. End of your interview. I don't know where you can work with that mentality. You can't. Now, if Dave Chappelle went on there and said some really racist, anti-Semitic, I don't know, just pick a thing against a large group of people, and felt he meant it, go try and cancel it. I guess Netflix probably wouldn't allow that on their platform. But then you see comments like, well, Netflix, we still have cuties on there. That was okay. But Dave Chappelle's not okay. No, Dave Chappelle is okay. Dave Chappelle will always be okay. And if you don't want to have them on Netflix, guess what? They'll just put it on something else. Karen or John, whoever you want to be, whoever you want to be out there, that's right. I usually, and no offense to John's, there's a lot of you out there that are nice. I actually have a brother named John. But I'm going to make John's the new Karen's for men. And that's an inside joke between me, some people I know, and a John. A John who deserves to be Karen. If there ever was one. So... Good luck canceling Dave Chappelle. Good luck. Ain't gonna happen. That dude can leave, go back to Ohio, do comedy in a field for seven people, and live out his best life while you are just bitter and angry and upset for no reason other than your own personal choice. I promise you this. He ain't losing sleep over it. I ain't losing sleep over it. I probably, actually, I take that back. I'm going to lose a little bit of sleep over it because I'm probably going to watch the special again just to have a few more laughs. Respect to Dave Chappelle. See y'all next one.